Yo, what's going on guys? Back in the boat, getting some stuff cleaned up. Cleaning up my truck, cleaning up the boat carpet, all that kind of stuff. I am doing my BFS setups, my ultralight, light setups. Uh, it's just probably my most enjoyable way to fish. I get a lot of crap from guys, well you don't own spinning reels, you don't own a spinning rod or any of that kind of stuff. I haven't owned a spinning reel combo in probably 10 years, maybe 11 or 12. Um, I just hate spinning reels. I hate working on them. I hate using them. I just don't, me personally, I just don't see the need for them. So I've got a bunch of uh, just ultralight BFS stuff that I use instead, throw in some really light stuff. So I'm gonna go through those, start with the lightest and move up to the lightest or heaviest. Um, so stuff that I use pretty much all year on them, I change them up depending on where I'm at, if I'm up north, south, whatever. But we're gonna start off with the, the Dobbins Sierra 740. This is my vertical line. This is pretty much all my vertical presentation baits um i typically use this for ned rigs i actually broke off a ned rig on one of the lakes i fished last weekend i set up on a really good fish and i was stupid and it didn't retie so it just broke me off um, as you can see most of the line i use is the same it is all four pound yozuri hybrid sorry if i'm getting distracted i got the dog over here on the line so he's i don't know what he's doing so but this is the Dobbin Sierra 740. It is a seven foot four zero power. Um, and it is paired with the Daiwa Elphis Air TW 8.6 to one gear ratio. This reel is incredible. It is incredible out of the box. I've done a bunch of upgrades to it. Just added bearings where there are bushings, added bearings in the knobs, um, upgrade bearings, polish it, all my stuff that I always do. Awesome freaking reel. This is four pounds Yozuri hybrid. I use this line a lot. I've used it for over 10 years. I've just had a really good luck with it. Um, it's not a true four pound line. It's probably a little heavier, probably seven pound maybe, um, just cause the Uzuri is a little bit thicker, but it's awesome line. I use it on pretty much everything, vertical, moving baits, all that kind of stuff. It's just a great line to use. But this is my vertical um, Ned rigs, light, light, shaky heads. Uh, but typically it's just Ned rigs, um, just with the higher gear ratio, even though it's a small reel, it's still a little bit higher than what I'm throwing with some of these other reels. So 740 Elphis Air, four pound Yuzuri hybrid. It is my vertical combo. It is very awesome. I need a retie on that one. Next up is my other. Dobbins Ultralight. This is the Sierra 700. Again, four pound Yozuri hybrid. This is my moving bait ride. This is pretty much what I use for my crankbaits, little swim baits, deep diving crankbaits, deep diving crankbaits. Um, just moving square bills, 0.5s, 0.5 DDs. This is what I've got on there right now is a 0.5 DD. As you saw in my white bass video, um, paired with a Daiwa Pixie 5, 7 to 1 gear ratio. I wanted the slow gear ratio just because I'm usually using it for cranking and everything. Again, 4 pound Yuzuri Hybrid. Just a freaking blast. I'm hoping to take this out probably Friday or maybe next week or this weekend. Um, trying to go find some more white bass, maybe some more largies on the river. Just because it's always a good time. It's an absolute blast. Those two rods right there are so fun to use. Tons of guides. Um, just tons of of it's got enough power to where you can boat flip as you saw you can throw really light stuff on it down to a gram gram and a half it's got a soft tip it's got a plenty of guides so you're not getting your line slap on the guides so really really nice rides and then i'm going to move up to discontinued rides that everybody wants me to sell them awesome rides i posted about them before but we're going to go from there this is a dobbins champion extreme dx 701c Again, with four pound Yuzuri hybrid. This is throwing a, I think this is an eighth ounce shaky head. This is a small shaky head, eighth ounce with the Jean LaRue salty shaky worm. Four pound Yuzuri hybrid again. This is just my finesse, um, finesse, finesse shaky setup paired with a Daiwa Pixie SPR 
6.8 to one gear ratio, carbon handle, all that kind of stuff. The SBR is a small plug revolution. It is their Daiwa that does not have uh, magnetic braking. It's got two pin brakes, so it's kind of like a Shimano. In that aspect, um, awesome rods. This is just a, probably, I would say a power, maybe a power and a quarter, power and a half up from the Sierra, the new Sierras. These have been my go-to smallmouth rods up north, throwing shaky heads, traps, little crank baits, um, little jerk baits. I have caught thousands of fish on both of these combos. They are incredible. I've caught many fish over six and a half to almost seven pounds smallies on these. They're just a blast. I use them for drop shot as well, um, just because it has a little bit more power to them than the uh, 740 BFS. The 740 you could probably use on like hair jigs, maybe. Um, but awesome combos. I love this rod. I love both of these rods over here. They're absolutely amazing. Next up is my second one. This one actually has a really light jig on it. This has got, this is another 700. I found this uh, pretty much mint condition, brand new. The guy sold it to me and I snagged it right up. It has got my Elfis Airstream Custom combo that I don't use enough. Um, I need to take this jig off. This is one of those dual reals jigs. It is really tiny. I mean, I think this is like, 2.7 grams for this jig so you're looking at probably three and a half grams with a little trailer on it as well awesome finesse bait don't get me wrong it's this killer i just don't throw it enough i could probably throw it right now for smallies on the river spotted bass that kind of stuff um which maybe i'll do when i go back on the river is throw this bait around a lot because it's a lot lighter than what i've been throwing again four pound Yuzuri hybrid I've got a big spool of it, it's cheap. I can spool it up, use it for a couple weeks, destroy it, use it again. But this reel is awesome. This is a seven, two to one gear ratio, carbon handle. Beautiful, beautiful combo. This green is phenomenal. Um, the DX, as you can see, has the glitter on it, it kind of changes. But these are two unicorn rods that I get asked all the time to sell. And I'm not gonna sell them ever. I hope they never break. Last but not least is my Power Finesse. Um, it's not really a finesse ultra ultra light, but it can throw really light stuff. Again, I've got, currently I've got on it a uh, shaky head. This is the Omega shaky head. Really light, again with the Jean, Ru Jean LaRue salty shaky head. And then I've got it paired with a Daiwa Steez Limited with the shallow spool on it. Eight one to one gear ratio for vertical stuff. Um, this has got, I think 15 or 16 pound um, Seaguar and Vizex. I came with the reel when I bought it. Again, another uh, customer just was looking to sell the reel and I had to snag it up because I absolutely love this reel. 702, two power. Um, it, it's a little thick on the blank. Don't. Don't let that, uh, you know, get you away from it. It's very light. I've caught four and a half, five pounders on it. It's no problem. Um, it's an absolute blast of fish, but this is my power finesse. So I was flipping this shaky head really in thick cover like beaver laydowns and just flat out laydowns just because I knew I could get them out with this a little bit heavier line than what I was using over here. But this is it right here. Pretty much the lines of the other thing I've been doing is throwing these little frogs on it. Um, I would switch reels and use braid. I've seen these before. I was using braid on it, so I was throwing these tiny little froggets just because that's fun as well. But those are my finesse baits. I pretty much use them for shakies, drop shot, neds, crank baits, anything ultra finesse to finesse, no problem at all. I drop shot with them. I know it sounds crazy, but I do, and I've caught tons and tons of fish on it. So it's just the way I like to do it. Um, it's just my preference. So it's not for everybody. That's why it's a niche market. 
That's why swim baiting is not for everybody. It's another niche market. It's just on the other spectrum. So those are my combos. That's what I use them for. Everything's pretty much got four pound user high brand. If you got any questions about BFS or ultralight or any of that kind of stuff, reels, if you need them clean, bearings upgraded, all that kind of stuff, post down below. You can email me. I'm uh, pretty available to talk. So smash that thumbs up, guys. I appreciate you guys. We'll talk to you guys later and have a good one.